Okay, so apparently, Jaguar jumped on the Star Reports um, channel when he was in the middle of an episode. And I guess she decided to call in, right? So I had been, you know, seeing, you know, a couple of stories of how he went in on her. And, you know, um, apparently Jaguar has a rep of, you know, being someone that usually reads people down and tells all their business. Of course, as we all know, you know, she claims she knows everybody's business in Hollywood. Me personally, you know, when I hear people say things like, why ain't nobody sued her if it's not true? One thing Claudia Jordan said, um, I think a lot of people don't realize in order sometimes for people to get served, they have to have an address. And basically by her being a nomad, if we really want to be honest in so many, you know, words, um, let's just sum it up that way. It's kind of hard to serve her because she's all over the place, if that makes sense. Not to say she's a, you know, freeloader or anything, but, you know, she's all over the place. So it's kind of hard for people to serve her if she's here, there and beyond. I'm just saying, you know, um, and a lot of the times when people are operating off a of higher velocity, Sometimes they feel like it's beneath them to reach down in the gutter. I'm not saying she's the gutter, but to be honest, even with me and my normal life, you know, ever since I was, a, you know, a young person or a teenager or whatever, I never really associated with people that knew everybody's business, you know, always had the tea. Um, I told y'all I have been in a couple of fist fights behind females actually walking up on me um telling me what somebody else had to say i'm not one of those people that want to hear it so you know if i was a celebrity which i wouldn't want to be one but just saying if if i were a lot of them i would not you know want to you know um be in communication with her anyway because it's something really uh, gutter butt about a person. As soon as they get mad, they tell all your business. Okay, it's it's very you know it's 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 wrong. You know, it shows that you were never friends from get go. Um, it's given miserable, like I told y'all before. It's given she's hurt because her her career still didn't take off the way that she wanted it to. Um. Throughout the little segment that she had with him, you know, that's not her first time that she'll just break out and start singing. You know, she claims she's had radio interviews. Um, you can tell she still feels that her voice can take her places. So it's kind of like if y'all not going to try to, you know, mess with me for my voice, then, you know, as far as my singing, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my voice to bash y'all. She's the Kia of modern day society these days. I'm just saying, um, the my neck and my back girl, she's like Tokyo Tony. She's like, um, what's Rick Ross, baby mama? You know, there are certain people when they, if you notice all of them around that same age group, you know, when things didn't take off the way that they felt it should have, what did they use? They use their voice to, you know, get off on people basically. And to me, to be honest, I feel like Kia is a little more justified compared to Jaguar, right? Because Kia was screwed in a lot of her deals. And that's why she became bitter. You know, people got over on her and they monetized off her gift. So if anything, she has a right to be a little, you know, a little salty about it. So Jaguar, right? To me, you know, to me, I feel like if the doors were open back to her, she would take it. You know what I'm saying? Versus Kia, she made it clear she don't want to. She just started her own stuff. It's a little different. But with Jaguar, to me, I just always told y'all it's giving clown to me. You know, just, oh, I know everybody's business. I, I'm going to tell it all. Like, I mean, and to me, she can't be that smart because you know so much. And it's obviously, it's a lot of people out here that still mess with her. Why not go do what kid did you know with the thug missus.com or 
why not do what T.S. Madison did and, you know, get your own podcast? Or why not, hell, what's the girl, Rick Ross, baby mama? Why not get your own stage and what is it, the aunties podcast? Whoever, whoever show that is, obviously, they were smart about it. And they, you know, the auntie podcast, they took Blueface uh, Mama. They took... um. What's her name? Rick Ross, baby mama, uh, whatever her name is. Obviously, it's people out here that still mess with you. Why not get your own? Stop jumping on podcast to podcast, interview to interview, you know, doing what vultures do and just soaring from place to place. You know, don't do that. Why not get your own? So she started out calling the podcast. Um which would have made me a little salty but to be honest y'all y'all know i don't like men that go in on women because i told y'all i have been that person that has been fussing with a black man before and it's not cool it's not right okay so but to be honest y'all when she first called i'm doing a watch along so based on what i'm seeing so far when she first called he was very patient with her you know, and you could tell like he was he was trying to be patient with her. She called talking about what's your name. First of all, why would you call if you didn't know who he was? That's an insult, number one. That's like somebody calling your phone, but like, um, who is this? You calling me. Why are you asking me who is this? You know what I'm saying? You know, so she called and then she kept talking over him. She has that Tokyo Tony syndrome. Where y'all have conversations with people in interviews and y'all try to over talk them on their platform. I understand you're probably getting paid for this. I don't know if she got paid for the calling or not. But you cannot, whether you're getting paid or not, you cannot call people's platform and talk to them any kind of way. Think you're going to over talk them on their stuff. Check or no check. Tokyo Tony did it to Tasha K. Tokyo Tony did it to Storm Monroe. Tokyo Tony did it to Armand Wiggins. Y'all have a bad habit of calling people and thinking y'all going to talk over them on their platform. It's not right. So let's see where it goes from here. Okay, so Jad made a remark about saying um, something about um, another level or a higher frequency or something she said. I can't remember. But then he was like, if you try to mock me, I'm going to take your effing head off. Um, I didn't catch the shade. I didn't know if that was towards her. I mean, towards him or um, Jay-Z. I kind of, they kind of lost me there. But obviously she probably said some slick shit, whatever it was. And he caught it, right? Um, He's been given warning, you know, warning flag. And see, Jack, like I told y'all, Jack is so used to calling people phone and just talking to people crazy. Jack is one of them people that feel like if she has the tea on somebody or she knows somebody business, that she is just a gift to mankind. You know what I'm saying? You know, there are certain people like Carly Red, for example. Certain people feel like, you know, for the people that have watched Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, certain people just feel like if they know people business, they're supposed to be treated a different way because they got the key to, you know, everybody's business. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? Like, they feel like you're supposed to step on eggshells when you talk to them. You're not supposed to piss them off. You're not supposed to ruffle their feathers because they'll get tea on you. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Jack just feel like she could say whatever. She feel like she could just say whatever to people because she know everybody's business. You know what I'm saying? And I saw in the comments, I haven't heard that part yet because this is a watch along. So I saw in the comments where somebody was like, I can't believe he told Jaguar right that he doesn't care about her. Um, He doesn't give a F about who she is. You know, people was acting like it was a capital crime to piss Jaguar right off. It's a capital crime to piss this chick off. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> Y'all scared of this girl. And half the time, how do we even know some of this stuff she's saying is true? Because from what I'm reading, some of this stuff has already been out. And I wouldn't be surprised like Armand Wiggins said one day on his show. Sometimes Jaguar gives the vibe that she makes some stuff as she goes along. I get that vibe from her. She's very animated. 
you know, it, I mean, it's what do y'all expect from this girl? You know, I'm not saying he was justified. I had told y'all I have encountered corrupt black men. You know, I've read in the comments where somebody has said he's always on one. I, I, I told y'all this is my first time hearing of this guy. Um, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But she called the show seeming like she was already, you know, a little off. Calling, asking him what's his name. That would have pissed me off. Then you calling my stuff, talking over me. You calling me. You bringing bad energy. This is why they say she used to bring bad energy back in the day. Because you cannot come around. If you call people phone and talk over them, that's like two people having a conversation, right? And then one person walking up and just cutting right across and just start talking. Jaguar Wright is one of those people. If you would do it over the phone when it's just one, just two people, you'll do it with three people in person. And that's part of that's probably part of the reason why they didn't like her around back in the day. Probably. Just saying. Okay, this is where the conversation went left. When he said, um, <laughs> he said a lot in a matter of seconds, really. Um, I'm not for black men cussing out. I'm not for any type of man. Black, white, yellow, orange, blue, purple, green. I'm not for any type of man, you know, talking to women crazy because, you know, I, you know, it's just, it's, it's not okay. Um, I don't remember her calling him out of his name. I could have missed it. Don't quote me on it. But from the way it sounds, he, he's, he called her a name first, right? Um, I think Star is a homosexual or he's bisexual because he's not, he's not heterosexual. Um, do I think he could have laid back just a little bit on some of the names? Yes. I do. But you can't do wrong to a person and tell them how mad to get. Um, she called, like I told y'all, she called the phone as he was trying to be patient with her. He was. But you could tell he was unraveling. You could tell. Um, let's see where this goes. Because when he, he said, bitch, you funky, nasty, you know, all that, it was left field. Um, I didn't expect it to take off like that. And she's different from me because she was like, okay, okay. I would have hung up. First of all, I wouldn't have called his phone no way. I wouldn't have called... Sorry, if if the, he has the attitude the way people say he does, I wouldn't. Have, why you want to talk to somebody that got a smart mouth? I don't like holding conversations with people that have a smart mouth. No way, not not on at work, not at school, not out in the community. I try. I don't like. I like my people. If I gotta talk to some other humans, I would rather them be civilized and kind of um even kill. I don't do well with people that have a smart mouth. I don't understand why y'all want to call in to talk to somebody that has a smart mouth anyway, you know, but that's just me, but who that went left fast. And when he said, um, bitch, I don't need you to go viral. He doesn't, he has a lot of subscribers. So obviously it's people out here that, you know, um, his channel looked like he'd been up since what? 2014. I think it said, don't quote me on it. And he's 60, so if he's if he was being honest, if it wasn't a joke, he could have been around on social media prior to that. You know, he could be one of those people that, um, you know how you heard people say, well, I had another social media, then it was deleted, or um, they took a break, they came back. He could have been one of those people, you know. So, obviously, it's people out here that rock with him. He don't need you. Everybody is not going to let you call their phone and talk to them crazy and talk over them, Jaguar. Everybody ain't going to let you do that. Some people going to put you in your place like, hey, I don't need you. You could take that the fuck on somewhere. You so used to doing them same interviews with Storm Monroe and them other podcasters that let you come up there and look all crazy and tell the same stories that people have already heard. You think everybody going to let you do that? No, they not. It's just as simple as that. Okay, y'all. So, in conclusion, I think that's the end of it. But I'm done 
hearing this man call this woman black monkeys and tell you know all types of names and threatening her and i just here's how i feel okay um did she ask for it a little bit yes just a little bit but am i condoning it no if that makes sense um like i said for me personally i would have never call i don't even like holding conversations with people that have a smart mouth that's just me i you know if you're not even kill you're not laid back we don't have no business talking no business talking because it's gonna go left because you're gonna say something out of your mouth that i'm not gonna agree with or it's gonna rub me the wrong way and the conversation is gonna go to hell you know um <sighs> When the guy got on the phone, I noticed he had calmed down a lot. He had calmed down a lot. But then when Jadwar got back on the phone, he was talking shit to her. Like I always tell y'all, one thing about guys that, you know, come at women, when it comes to a man, they don't never have that same energy. He didn't, I don't think he caught that man out one curse word when that man got on the phone. But when Jaguar got back on the phone, she was all types of bitches and this and that. You know what I'm saying? But what where all that energy when the man when he said got on when he got on the phone and said, What's up, um, my G or something he said, you know, whatever. But anyway, why why you had that energy with him? And how old are we? I mean, if I'm not mistaken, Jaguar is in her forties. I don't know how old that other guy was. And then he going to ask him a redundant question saying, is that your lady? Is that your bitch? Or something he said. Then she already tell you that she was going to put you on the phone with her man. I think that's what she said. Y'all know when the last time I've been in a, a, a cuss out session with somebody on the phone. I think I haven't cussed somebody out on the phone since. I want to say I was 20, 21 maybe. I don't even have people calling my phone that upset me to the point where I'm cussing them out. It's been a long time since I've I've had that around me. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like if you if she caught the phone and she you felt like in your spirit she was on bullshit, why not just hang up? I would have just hung up and went to the next person. You know what I'm saying? And then um like the other day right on my night job the girl asked me something i can't remember what she said and she was like um uh, why you talk like that i said what you mean why i talk like that she said you talk like you got a fat tongue or or something i said you know i said you know i'm gonna let that slide right because it's a lot of things I could say about you. But I don't say it. You know what I'm saying? I have a speech impediment. So some of my words are going to slur. Some of my words aren't going to, you know, come out right. You know, that was unnecessary. That was unnecessary. So she was like, but no, I'm saying this. She was like, let's get back on subject. I said, uh-uh. I said, because that was unnecessary. We having a conversation about the food truck out there, and then you decided to throw shade. That was unnecessary. I ended the conversation right then and there. I don't even hold conversations with people once they say left field shit to try to be funny. I don't, because it's, it's, it's dumb shit. It's just dumb shit. Where was all the energy at when he was on the phone? And y'all too old to be sitting up here arguing on I mean, I know it's entertainment, but I could I shit. I couldn't do it. But hey. To each his own. Oh yeah. And by the way, have y'all noticed, is it just me? Or have y'all noticed majority of the guys that were calling in seem like they were sissies and punks? You know what I'm saying? Like, it seemed like a lot of the guys that were calling in, like, it was one guy that was like, um, her name should be Jaguar Wrong. That was so fake and so corny and just so whack. Was that supposed to be a joke? I mean, that was just, I'm sorry, I forgot to laugh. You know, 
that was so whack. You know, I just, ugh, you know. So, here's the thing. And then it was one guy that had commented. He was like, um, go in on that bitch, star. Go in on that bitch. You know, I don't understand because it's like with black men, you know, y'all love to see other black men go in on black women. But what if one of y'all was getting fucked up by the police and somebody stood on the side of the road and said, go in on his ass, get his ass. Then everybody would say, oh, that's not the same thing. Oh, no, nah, that's not cool. It's not cool for y'all to like to see other black men go on a black woman. Now, I'm not going to get up here and say that man was wrong for calling her um, a monkey. Okay, he called you a monkey. Call him a sissy. Call him a punk. Call him a DL faggot. I mean, I'm just saying, if it, if he's spitting fire at you, spit fire back at his ass. Because he ain't heterosexual. This man likes dick and balls. Okay, he likes balls. He likes men. He likes to get fucked. He's not even a top. He's a bottom. This dude is a, this, I mean, either way to me, you still fruity, whether you're a top or a bottom. Either you like to get digged in or you like to dig in booty. Either you like to dig in booty or you like to get your booty dead in. To me, either way is perverted. I'm just saying. I love gay men. They, they make good friends sometimes. But I'm just saying, either way. Okay. Um, I know that was kind of a little bit of a contradiction, but nonetheless. Um, this dude is gay. He's gay. He is not a heterosexual man. Any man that will cuss out woman, fuss, tell him he gonna put their foot in his ass, he'll talk crazy to a woman, but when the man got on the phone, he had no smoke. Then people in the comments was like, oh, he cusses out everybody. He cusses out everybody. I ain't trying to hear that. He it seemed like to me he got more smoke for the woman than the man. This is a faggot. This is a 60-year-old faggot. Okay, and she ain't no better. This was all this was was battle of the egos. Everybody, she feel like she got to talk over him to get her point across. He feel like you ain't going to try to bitch him on his own show. It's battle of the egos. That's why it would have never worked no way because you feel one way. He feel one way. It's battle of the egos. That's why two people with two strong personalities can't be in a relationship now. Because shit like this happened. One feel like they got to get the last word. The other one feel like they got to drown the other one out to get their point across. Then emotions run high. What they do? They start cussing and fussing and calling each other bitches and hoes and telling them what you're going to do to them. And, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I would have hung up. I would have hung up. I mean, what do you expect from a man named Star? I mean, Star, a man called Star, what do you expect? 